financial accounting, long-term liabilities. We're talking about bonds. And I want to talk a little bit about the types of bonds and then what I expect you to know about those bonds. First off, there's uh, secured bonds, which means those bonds have collateral behind them. In other words, you're not just uh, looking to the good um, name and resources of the company in general, but specific collateral or specific assets or resources are tied to the payment of those bonds. And so those are secured bonds. So do you have a little bit more comfort when you get a secured bond? Sure, because you know where the source of uh, repayment could come from. Unsecured bonds is you're basically looking at the reputation of the company uh, to uh, be good enough to pay back those bonds. Um, so those are unsecured. Registered bonds means that every time you change the owner of the bond, you alert the registered agent, and that registered agent keeps track of the name and the address of the person or the entity that owns the bond. And the opposite of a registered bond is a bearer bond. A bearer bond means whoever has that bond in their hand owns it. So do you remember um, when you used to watch uh, TV westerns as a kid and you know how the stagecoach was always being held up? And you know that, that strong box looked pretty light. Uh, that they could just throw it on a horse and take off with it, you know. So it had to have something in it besides just gold. And what was in it were bearer bonds. And because bearer bonds was an easy way for one bank to transfer funds to another bank. Remember this was before electronics and the telephone and the telegraph, that they could transfer funds through these bearer bonds. So that's bearer bonds. Also, you can remember all those people that used to go to Europe and they'd have the letter of introduction? Well, the letter of introduction was basically a bearer bond that said, this individual is good for this much money. So those are the types of things. Now, here's a fun bond. Coupon bond. A coupon bond is a bond and then at the bottom of it are all these little coupons. And in order to get the interest on the bond, you cut out the coupon, send it in, and they send you your interest. Isn't that great? So those are called coupon bonds. In my first job out of college, I worked at the Federal Reserve Bank. And there were three people that did nothing but clip coupons all day long, every day, sending them in to collect the interest on behalf of the member banks. Wouldn't that be a fun job? Callable bonds means that those bonds can be called in by the issuer. So if a company issues a bond and say the interest rate is 12% at the time and then the interest rate drops to say 6%, that company would want to call those bonds in because why do they want to pay 12% interest uh, to borrow money through bonds when they could really be paying 6% interest. So they'll call the bonds in, uh, retire those bonds, and issue some new bonds. So they'll take the 12% bonds in, retire them, and guess what? They'll issue bonds for 6% instead. So those are callable bonds. The company has the right to bring them in. Convertible bonds is the best kind of bond. And it's the best kind of bond because you borrow money by issuing bonds, but then um, you also have a feature there that says, I'm willing to convert this bond into so many shares of stock. Now, from a company point of view, they love it because do they ever have to pay back the bond? No, all they do is what? Issue stock instead. So a convertible bond is a great way to um, play the market both ways if I'm an investor. First, I buy a bond, I hold that bond, I'm getting interest on that bond, generally on a semi-annual basis. If the stock market goes up, I can take that bond, give it back to the company, and get shares of stock instead. And those shares of stock instead are at a set price. So, you know, I can play the market both ways, both through debt and through um, ownership through the, the stock. Now, what entries do you need to know? 
we're going to talk about how to sell a bond, we're going to pay the interest, and we're going to be looking at adjusting entries for that interest uh, on those bonds. So stay tuned.